Yeah, dude, that's the fucking journey, right? Which is how long is the stupid phase? That's what you're saying. I'm going to give you the right answer and then the real answer. The real answer is you won't know until one day you go, oh, I'm not that bad at this anymore. And then you'll realize, okay, I'm actually pretty good. And then you'll feel fucking stupid about it again. And you'll never actually ever feel like you've mastered it. It's always like this curse of the sevens type of thing, right? As you scroll up or as you become a seven, you realize that it's much further. You're like, I'm actually fucking stupid. And you come back down. It's And the people who don't go on that are called the Dunning-Kruger effect, where they're so stupid they don't know they're stupid. It's really, really weird, right? So that's the real answer, which is you never fucking know until one day you wake up and you go, I'm not bad. At, I'm not too bad at this anymore. The real answer is at like 10 iterations, right? You start to find some patterns. Yeah. And then you get to ask yourself, hey, brain, how am I going to solve this shit? And they're going to deep dive into YouTube and you're going in this like cocaine binge of information. You're going to watch all the fucking YouTubes all at once. And then you're going to run into a scenario where you're like, okay, I think I have this shit figured out. I'm going to try it on the next client, right? So you just have to be okay with being in the stupid phase for a while and going in YouTube and Googling the shit out of it. And then you'll reach your your kind of end-all, be-all point of exhaustion. And then you'll know. <laughs>